let's make some good old chili real quick and easy. Okay, let's make a real quick pot of chili. <laughs> I thought I'd go ahead and film this because Grandma's trying to hurry up. But I got a pound and a half, which by the time it shrinks down, it'll probably just be a pound. But fry you up some hamburger meat. Uh, add your salt and pepper to it and your garlic powder. And let that fry up real good. Okay. Grandma's already cut up some onions and bell pepper. I, had, I only had one bell pepper, but I had some frozen in the freezer. So, that was already cut up. And, um... I already sauteed them with the salt and pepper. You just mix them around before you pour them in. But I let my hamburger meat get a little bit done before I pour this in. And then I'll show you what's next. Okay, Grandma was going to turn it down a little bit. It's not ready yet. The hamburger meat is not done yet. Oh, I need a, a like a fork to break all this hamburger meat up. Depends on how you like your meat. If you like your meat thick, then leave it thick. My grandma likes her a little bit of ever. It's <laughs> thick and crumbly. So, <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and pour in one pack of chili seasoning mix before the meat gets done. So those flavors get inside. I don't have any garlic, or I would be using garlic cloves also. But uh, I don't have any of that. So, let's pour that in there and let that cook inside that meat. Yes, with the greases and everything. Your grease is where a lot of your flavor is going to come from. Oh, let me turn it down because I got it on. I had it on high. Okay, let me. Yeah. I'm not going to add the water to it yet. I'm just breaking up those big pieces. Okay, now. Oh, you see how it's been cooking. I wanted to make sure my meat is really... Uh, and it's way to be in done. Then so I'm going to dump in. Well, some of that didn't have the bell pepper and onion. If you had garlic, this would be the time to dump it in. This is, remember, this is just quick dinner chili. It's just country folks hurry up and do it. But if we were cook, if I was cooking a, a famous chili, I'd be cooking it all day, slow cooking it. I wanted to saute my bell pepper and onion. And let those juices just get on with that cup. Okay, now Grandma's going to put the lid on. And let it turn it down just a little and let it cook for a minute before I add the other stuff. Okay, those vegetables are a little tender, and that's the way we want them, because the meat's done, and there's not any grease. I drained a little bit of the grease. There's, there's a little grease in there, but there's, um, anyway, the first thing we're going to use is your diced tomatoes, but usually I use whole tomatoes, and I slice them while they're in the can, but since I don't have a can opener, I had to open it with a knife, every one of my cans, except for the pop top. So, uh, let's go ahead and put your tomatoes in here. Ooh. Depends on how many tomatoes you like. We like big, lots of tomatoes, so we used a big can. Okay, Grandma, it's still a bit. Now, where's Grandma's? Mix them up there. 
Let's get a little, I know this is a lot of salt, y'all. Put a little salt on them tomatoes because they're going to taste bland. But also, I did use a tiny bit because I had one of these. And the gluten-free has, oh, the flavor is really, really good. So I used a little bit in my meat. I wasn't videoing it, so I'm sorry. But anyway, let's go ahead and pour our tomato sauce in. Grandma's going to blend it with her meat. This is supposed to be a quick. And don't forget, you could have be boiling your rice, you know, cooking your rice while you're doing this. Unless you got instant rice. Now we're going to use three cans of, two to three cans, whatever you like, how many beans you like. Of light red kidney beans. I, I like the light red ones. My daughter likes the dark red ones. But since Grandma's cooking, I'm putting the one I like. Just dump them over in there. All three cans, okay? All right, let's taste it because I may have to add some more tomato sauce. Or something. I always taste it. Mmm, that's delicious. But I am going to add a little more tomato sauce. Yeah, Grandma's favorite gluten-free stuff. I didn't, I didn't get it because it's gluten-free. It is the best flavor. That's why I got it. All right. Grandma's going to mix this up. Put the lid back on it. Oh, my arthritis is getting my root hand. And then, show you where's my lid. You know I taped that hole up. <laughs> All right. And that's going to heat up some more. And then we're going to um, have the rice and everything else ready and show you what it looks like. Okay. So, I've got it on top of my rice. Put me some crackers and a little de Rotel um, out of the can, you know. And some sour cream and a little chives that I cut up from the green onion. And we're going to taste this. This is quick and it's easy for you to have husbands that want to cook some dinner or men that like cooking chili. This is not the famous chili. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Grandma made a mess. This is delicious. I'm going to have to take oh, another yeah. bite. Yeah, he oh, said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is delicious, oh, y'all. Yeah. 